today's video is going to be a review and demo on my face of this brand called Style Vana that reached out to me and wants to work with me. So they sent me a bunch of free makeup. So this video is sponsored. Um, now, I absolutely fell in love with this brand. This is a Korean makeup brand. They also have like, let me just get my email so I can read you what they said they are. If I can find it. Okay, here we go. So it says they are style Lana and they are really affordable, number one. They are a one-stop online shop to purchase the trendiest Asian fashion and beauty products. And they said they would love to send me some Korean beauty products. So this is my first time ever trying Korean products and let me tell you all the hype that you see online it's true it's this is really good stuff like I'm not joking about this I would not be making this video if I didn't like it I'm very picky with products that I like and don't like so before we get into this I do want to say please don't mind my hair I'm in the process of going blonde so if it looks crazy right now we're just gonna have to deal with it until I can get it to where I want it to be so I can tone it Okay, that's that. So now on to the video. And the first thing I want to talk about is this Artless Perfect Cushion Hamish, Hamish brand from this, from Stylewana. And do not mind me, I might butcher these names because I'm really bad at pronouncing certain names. And that's just me, that's just who I am. And I have it in the shade 23 Natural Beige. It has UV protection, it's brightening, and it's anti-wrinkle. So it's got all that stuff in one product. It also is SPF 50, which is like really high in SPF. And this is probably my favorite product out of everything they sent me. This is a foundation, and look how pretty this packaging is. Like, it's high-end, and it's really cheap. You would never guess that this was a cheap product. It's really affordable. I absolutely love the cushion that comes with it that you apply the makeup. It feels like memory foam. And you can also like put your little fingers in here and swipe across your face in awesome sweeping motion. So I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. So here is a little compact. And the cool thing about this is it comes with a replacement. So you pop this out. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You pop this little guy out like this comes right out and then you'd pop a new one right in so you can buy refills you cannot do that here in the u.s at least i have not seen anything like that so this is like a total win-win both ways okay i just want to make sure i have it snapped back in and then you get a little mirror it works pretty good it's nice and then you get this nice closure and they even give you another sponge how cool is that so I want to read to you, um, I want to show you the website, so, and I want to tell you how much that product costs. I'm definitely going to be ordering more stuff myself because I saw a lot of stuff I want to get. Like I saw a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes, um, and it's really affordable, so I'm so excited for that. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm trying to get to the, all right, cushion, it's called cushion and refill by the way, that's what this is, so they have a whole bunch of these by the way, they have all different kinds and they all retail for different prices, this is just the one that I was able to pick out, Oh man, I don't think I can find it that quick. You know what? I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to get right into the video. I will link everything in the description box below. I can't like sit here and scroll through my phone and try and find the product. So I'm just going to get started with applying the foundation. And like I said, oh also I do want to mention that this packaging and the products are US friendly. So you have your Chinese writing, which I cannot read, and then you have your um regular english so i wanted to mention that they really do cater to people so i'm going to start applying this and i'm going to zoom you in so you can see
hopefully that's and then this is how I use it I just take the sponge and I just press it in just like you would with any others and at first this is what I like to do I like to go like this first so that way I can get it all over my face and then I start at the chin area and I just blend away this makes me look like I have baby doll skin my skin right now is not very good because I haven't been taking the best care of it so it's a little bit dry so if you guys notice that I'm sorry I've been really busy lately with my hair You don't even need, the thing I love about this is you don't even need like a, you don't even need a concealer with this, that's how well it covers. Like I will show you right after I'm done with this completely, how it just covers my under eye bags. It even covers like a lot of my blemishes. Like you guys saw I had like a something right there and it's gone, it's literally gone. It's like, it's like a band-aid, a magical band-aid. And you see how this matches my skin tone perfectly? They literally killed it with these shades. I'm definitely buying another one of these. And I can't believe how luxurious this is. It's amazing, literally it's amazing. The only thing I will say that I noticed, because I did test this out before I reviewed it, is that it makes me super oily, even with like a matte primer or anything, but I'm gonna live with that because this is literally my best friend now. So I'm in love with it and I highly, highly recommend it. So this would be a great product if you're super dry and this will help keep you moist, like your face like dewy and beautifully glowy. And that's basically all I do as I just blend this out. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I do need to make sure I'm covering my face because I do need to do other videos after this. So, and this is really good at covering up my redness too. So I like the fact that I don't have to go in with anything prior to using this. I can just use this and then be done. That's another thing I love. And look, it matches me so well. I love this so much. It's so nice, and it, it's not its not heavy. It's light. It's just a really, really good product, and I highly recommend this. Highly, highly recommend this product. Love it. And I do have a discount code, and I will have it on the screen here if you want to shop. No pressure, but check, definitely check them out. So that's that. The next thing I want to work on is my eyes. So they also sent me this Skin Food 1957 Skin Food Soda Pastel Eye Palette in the color Fade Lilac. This is a little trio eye, eyeshadow palette. This is the cutest thing ever. These colors are so springy. Look how cute. Really, really cute packaging. I love the colors. Now, I love the colors of this. Not that's not that is not the concern I have. What I noticed is this was really, really difficult to work with, and I don't know why. I tried. It just does. It just a little bit more difficult to work with, like blend and stuff. And it's also really hard for me to make an eye look with these colors. I feel beautiful colors but I've had to use when I tested it out I had to mix in some other colors but I'm not going to do that today because this is a, a dedicated video so I am going to swatch them on my hand and these do not have shade names actually yes they do I take that back right on the back this one right here is cotton pink this one down here is soda sparkle this one over here is Vincent vintage lavender and then this one over here is ashy mauve so they do have skin they do have names so here is the first one beautiful pastel -y pink right there 
I will swatch the next one next to that. This is the vintage lavender one. Very pretty eyeshadow. Right here. The next one is the dark one, which is the ashy mauve. And these are very powdery as well, but I feel like a lot of shadows are like that. So here is the ashy mauve. Last but not least is the soda sparkle, but they have tons of eyeshadow palettes. And there's so many that I want to use that I want to try out. They also even have skincare. Like this is a beautiful, beautiful glitter. Like look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Love it. So that is the swatches on my hand. Let me go get a makeup wipe. So I can take this off. And I'll do a little eye review. So if I was going to be using this on a day-to-day -day basis, I would definitely have to use some transition shades and some other shades to make it look practical to wear out because there's no way I could use all of these shades and then, um, whoa, and then be able to leave the house because it would be just too much on my eyes. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a demo on my eyes so i'm going to take that light pink right here i'm going to get it really in there i'm going to tap my brush off because they're really powdery and i'm just going to start applying it in my inner my outer crease as you can see it comes up very light but these are supposed to because they're pastel they're not supposed to be like bam in your face but you do have to build it up if you want it to be able to be seen, I've noticed. That's what I've noticed. Um, you probably can't even tell that it's there. I kind of like that though because I don't like my shadow to be extremely like bold sometimes. Sometimes I want natural. And now I'm going to take that deeper color I'm gonna put that in my inner corner just like this and I'm gonna mix them together so that way it comes out to be like a very natural pretty color yeah you guys can see that thank god there we go. Oh yeah, that's pretty. They're very soft too, I noticed. They're very soft shadows. These are very luxurious for how much they want. I really love that about this brand. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the sparkle shade and I'm just going to apply that to my eyelid. I want this to be very simple. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I wish I would have used my... Um, what do you call it? My glitter glue because this would have been great. I feel like a little girl again using these. It's awesome. And this glittery formula is super, super creamy, which is a big must. I've never really had anything like that before. I'm actually, I'm over the top impressed. The glitter is not my favorite glitter, but it works and it's pretty. So that is all I ask and the shadow. Now, since this is a um, review for the company, I am going to do two different eye looks just because I want to show you guys the full palette. So now I'm going to go in with a darker shade on my outer on this eye. So I can give you a full review of the palette. So as you can see, this one is definitely much more out there, but it's very pretty. So I'm going to use my color switch and I'm going to take that off 
and I'm gonna finish blending this out. I'm so sorry that my table is so squeaky. I'm really sorry about that. I kind of went in too heavy, so I gotta kind of fix that. I feel like I went in way too heavy. Let's see. So I'm gonna be going in with another, the pink shades anyway. So I'm gonna go in the inner corner with this light pink one over here. Just like this, try and brighten that up a little bit. Yeah, see the thing I love about this is you can go in with another shadow and completely fix your mistake. See how that toned it down? I love that about this. So it's like reversible, you can fix your little mistakes and it's it works really good, so. In and then I'm just gonna, gonna darken up that little section again. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna put the I'm going to put the vintage lavender color on my lid. And we're gonna see what happens if I put that sparkly glitter over this. I wanna see how it works if I apply their glitter over the shadow itself. I'm very curious, so I wanna see. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I do prefer using my finger with this glitter though because it applies better. So keep that in mind. Now this looks really pretty over this pink shadow. Okay, so those are the eye looks I came up with this little palette. That is all I could do with that. But I obviously won't be keeping it like this because I do have other videos. So for the video, I'll keep it like that. But now we're going to move on to the next product. So that was this little eyeshadow palette. Beautiful, cute. It's a good eyeshadow palette, but it's a little bit hard to work with. It's not, it's not what I'm used to, I guess you could say. It's not a bad thing. It's a good palette, but it's a little bit different. So, the next thing is going to be still the eyes. So, I'm going to use the I Mimi Lash Master Lash Master Master Scara. So, this is in the color O2 Brown. So, they actually didn't have a black available in this, I don't think. But let me tell you something, okay? Look at how nice this brush is. Look at that curve. I don't normally wear black, I mean brown mascara, but I'm definitely going to get a black mascara in this because I love the formula and the brush. So I'm just going to brush my, eye, my eyelashes out and I'm going to apply this. So, it's so easy. All you do is just that. You guys can see that. This really lifts up your eyes. It coats them nicely. And you know what else this is good for? The bottom lashes. Like, this is a wonder wand for that. Like, look how easy it is for me to really coat my lashes with this. Really, really nice. I just wish this was in black. I don't really wear brown mascara, but it's okay. I took what they had, so I'm not going to complain because it's a good product. So 
So look how nicely that applied. I really hope you guys can see that. Hold on. Look at the difference between this eye with no mascara and this eye with mascara. You can totally tell the difference. Do some more on this one. Absolutely love this mascara. I love, this is probably my favorite part. The wand sold me. And let me tell you, if you cry, this mascara is not going to budge. It's literally amazing. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh no, I just got some on my nose. There we go. So I absolutely love it. You can build it up. It's a great product. It makes them lengthening and I love the packaging. It's a really interesting packaging. Let me see what it says on here. It's just basically a mascara. I just wish it was in black. But I can always buy one. So yeah, that is the mascara. It's great. I highly recommend this. And the next thing is going to be the eyeliner. This is the Rye, Rye Rye Luxe Gel Eyeliner Number 2 Dark Brown. I don't normally wear dark brown eyeliner either, but that's all they had. Like I said, I probably butchered that name. But this eye pencil is super high end. Like watch, you don't sharpen it, you just roll it up. Just roll it right up. Look at that. That's awesome. I love eye pencils like that. And this, and the thing about this, I'm going to be honest, is it doesn't last long, so you have to keep replying it. Even if you wipe off your waterline, you have to keep replying it because it does wear off. I will say that. So maybe they can make, reformulate this. I'm giving this as a positive thing that they can fix and make this better. So that way we can use it on our waterline and not have that happen. So I'm going to show you how I, I always put eyeliner on my waterline. So this is how I use it. Like I said, I don't normally use brown mask um, eyeliner because I don't think it looks good. So sorry and make weird faces. So that is what the brown mascara look, I mean, eyeliner looks like. It's really pretty. It's a pretty color, but I just wish it would have stayed on longer. When I did wear it, it did not last all day. It wore off. So I am going to zoom you guys out. So that's the stuff they can fix about this. I, I would recommend this if you want to try it. But would I repurchase this on my own? Probably not, unless they fix the formula. I don't know why that was happening. Um, it's not a bad product. I love the, the, um, mechanical features of it. I think that's very high end and very good. So the next thing is this Brow Master Mascara by iMimi. This is 01 Light Brown. And this is a little bit different. I love the packaging. I love the little brush. That's really nice. And the color of it, I was like, wait, that's really pretty. But, so you see my eyebrows are dark, right? Now I want to show you why I don't like this. And I don't think I would repurchase it because it's too, too dark for my um, eyebrows. It looks silly. So, if it was just a little different, I feel then I think I would like it, but you'll see why I don't like it. I just don't like the color. Like, do you see the difference? So, I applied it to this, and then this is my natural color. I just feel like, does that look good or is it just me? I was like, I don't like the color. I don't know. I 
I need feedback, guys. Am I just being it too much, or is this way too dark for me? This is a brow mascara tinted, like, deal. It's basically a mascara for your brows, but it's tinted. It is the lightest color I think they have. So let me know what you guys think. I don't know if I like the color of it. It's like really like brown and my hair is about to be really light soon. So I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it. I love the packaging. I love how it's really cute and I love the brush. But I don't know about the color. So I wanted to leave one done and one not done so I can show you guys the difference of the coloring. You guys gotta let me know if this is too dark for me. If it is, then I won't feel so bad, but um, last but not least, I have two lip products, and the first one is the Pony Effect Powdery Whisper Lipstick in the color 013 Sweet Lie. Now, this lipstick blew me away. The packaging on this is so high-end, like, look how pretty that is. Now watch this. Oh, my battery's gonna die. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. And like I was saying, look at the packaging on this lipstick. Now watch this. See how pretty that is? Watch. It's a magnetic closure. I love lipsticks like that. Like, see, look at it. It's magnetic. And look how pretty this is. A beautiful, beautiful color for fall. I'm going to swatch it. Look how pretty and matte that is. Now I'm going to swatch it on my lips really quick. That is what it looks like on my lips, super bright. It's got a creamy, powdery feel, so I understand why they're calling it that. And this is long wearing, by the way. So that is how it looks on my lips. This would look good on any skin tone really really enjoy it it's really comfortable wearing on the lips the packaging is amazing i would definitely repurchase this in a couple different colors i'm probably going to put in another order anyway because there's other stuff i saw i want to try this was free makeup and i really really appreciate this because you know why because there's not a lot of brands out there that believe in me and this company believed in me just like a few other ones I want to see if this said anything by the way all these products are made in Korea this is a semi matte finish that's what it why it felt that way so it's like a matte creamy finish I kind of like that because it's comfortable wearing on and can we look at this lipstick packaging? Like, how cute is that? Last but not least is this, another lipstick. This is the Moni Baked, Moni Baked Velvet Tint in 01 Brick Chili. I do not know if I'm saying that brand right. Probably not. This is by Matt Queen New York. This is made in Korea as well, like all of them are. And I love the packaging on this. Here is the color of this one. Now, this color I don't like too much on me, but it might look beautiful on somebody else. So here is Brick Chili. This is like a super like orangey red. But I love the applicator, how small it is. I'm going to put this on my lips. I 
I also don't really typically like the taste of this too much or the, like the, you know, the smell. Mm. You know what? It kind of tastes like cherries. Now this is more of like a burnt red, I feel. Very comfortable wearing on the lips. Definitely would get this, but in a different color. I just feel like this isn't my color, and it could just be that I'm so picky with colors. So it's beautiful, it's very, very matte, and I like it, and I also like the packaging. Let's see, say anything else? Nope. So yeah, I love the packaging, but an applicator, but the color isn't for me. So, I'm going to tell you now, since we're at the end of the video, what are my favorite products that I received. So, number one is definitely the cushion foundation. This is my best friend. Number two would definitely be the mascara. Number three would be this lipstick. And what else do I really like? I really like the eyeshadow palette too. Just wish it was easier to blend. Um, my least favorite products would have to be the eyeliner and the brow mascara because I just, like I said, I don't know about the color on my eyebrows. I feel like it doesn't look good and then this doesn't stay on the waterline. Okay, so that is it for this part of the video. I'm going to make sure that I didn't miss anything that they wanted me to put in the video. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure I think I got everything they wanted me to do. And please don't forget to check my description box to see the links for these. And if you shop through my links and you use my code, um, you can get money off. I think it's like 10% maybe, but they already have like sales on the website, which is even better than So the sales and then my discount code will save you even more money So yeah, please shop through that if you can and that is it for this video I just want to say thank you so much to the brand Stylevana and to the person that reached out to me. Thank you so much I really look forward to working with you again in the future. These products are amazing. You know, some things need a little bit of work, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, so I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thank you so much, and I'll see my next video. Bye.